bathrooms. How does this keep coming up? This is nothing new, folks. You've been sharing bathrooms with us since... Always. And you know what happens? Ooh, scary. Yet every year, some fool tries to trick people into thinking this is an issue. And somehow thinks the way to protect privacy in bathrooms is by policing them. The biggest irony is that their solution will create the very thing that they're trying to stop. It would put me in the women's bathroom. And me in the men's room? I mean, it might be fun for a minute. And it means that I'll get shit no matter where I go to... You know. All we want to do is pee. By the way, do you know who actually gets harassed in bathrooms? We do. 70% of trans people report a negative reaction for just trying to use the restroom. 54% have had health problems due to lack of access to a restroom. Yeah, just holding it, it's not good for you. And do you know how many incidents there have been in states and schools where trans people are allowed to use the right bathrooms? Not a single damn one. By the way, Fun facts. More U.S. senators have been arrested for public misconduct in bathrooms than trans people. But if you're still anxious, you should probably talk to a professional. Because it's got nothing to do with us. But here's a quick guide to deal with people who you might not think belong in the same restroom as you. Don't worry about them. That's it. See, that's all it takes to maintain everyone's privacy. Could we also just make more single occupancy, all gender restrooms? That's helpful for me, parents, and anyone with disabilities. Let's make bathrooms accessible and safe for everyone. And now I really do have to pee. <laughs>